My name is Miles Morales is when we go back to, to see how Miles is doing. Film's opened on Gwen, but now we're back in Miles' world. And, you know, I wanted the opening of the film and Gwen's world to feel like a very different sound universe. But I also wanted, once we come back to Miles and Miles' Brooklyn, to be back into something more familiar. It's a remixed version of Miles' theme from the end of the first film called Spider-Man Loves You. But I want to have fun with his kind of Puerto Rican background and give it a kind of remix quality that was bouncy, energetic, kind of fun. But also, I wanted to be a crazy scratching sh showcase because, you know, like the turntable and record scratching is a real key part of Miles' sound. During the sequence, I, I got as many sounds I could off the sound team and I wanted to sonically represent what was happening on screen through record scratching. So we record scratched anything we could. So here's a car crash. Then next up, right now is punches. We have a tiny sequence. This is like, I don't know, three seconds animation of Miles punching lots of bad guys. So I was like, okay, let's get some punches and let's just scratch those. With the rest of the track, it's... And, you know, we've got the, the kind of brass of Miles' theme. Which is also getting scratched here and there. Uh, you know, as we carry on, we, you know, we see Miles, he loves his art. So I thought, let's scratch some felt tip pen sounds. That's one bar in the film. Literally one bar of felt tip pen scratching it took forever to do. It's like trying to find subtle ways of like encapsulating all these elements of Miles' personality through sound that are very subtle, but, uh, you know, like, add another layer to it, you know? And there's goofy stuff, like, I think that we've got the Jeopardy bells here, scratched. So this is, this is a good example of this thing we call Scratch in the Orchestra, where we basically recorded the orchestra. I wrote what I wanted the orchestra to play. We'd put that on a kind of, like, digital vinyl, so to speak. And then I'd get Blakey to come in and re-scratch in the performances, and we'd re-record those and edit those. So, you know, if you look at, like, this would be the performance originally of, like... But I would we'd scratch that, so. So he's cutting in some of those things and it just gives a cooler kind of. And it's, some of the stuff's very subtle, but. A lot of this here is a spray can as well. So here's, here's Miles' spray can. See, so yeah, we've got spray can recording, Miles' spray painting, here's just some spray can noises. There's certain things that scratch really well. Spray cans kind of sound quite cool, they're kind of like white noisy. And we used that in the first film, like a lot of the hi-hats, all the hi-hats in Miles' theme are spray cans. At this point, the stakes, the spot is this goofy character, doesn't seem like much of a threat. Miles is kind of in control as much as he can be. So the music's got a lightness and a fun that by the end of the film, you know, that's sort of gone because, you yeah, know, Miles is in such a different position. So I really wanted something at the beginning that just, you know, just gave you a sense of enjoyment. And it's a kind of pretty goofy cue. Some of the movements of the way the art goes, the characters move. I'm trying to capture that, the sort of cut up nature of the, of the film. Uh, but my favorite bit in this score, which is probably my favorite bit in the film, uh, in the whole score, to be honest, if I'm really honest. Okay, so if you watch this scene, you'll see in the background here, there's a bunch of geese going and they hit a goose. We were recording this. We've done all the stuff with the felt tip pens, punches, car crashes, jeopardy, whatever, all these noises. And then I was like, there's a whole section with a goose. We need a goose. Goose it. Whenever you want. So we got a goose sound, and then we're like, okay, let's try and scratch the goose. And certain things, we scratch them, they sound okay. Some things don't work. And I learned a lot in the first film about what works and what doesn't work with scratching. A goose is an awesome sound to scratch. So you put it in with the rest of the track. I don't think 
don't want this costume anymore. So I'm very pleased to have maybe done one of the first film scores to ever feature a record scratched goose in it. You know, this was just a fun track. And for me, it also like symbolizes the kind of experimentation and fun and craziness of this project that, that I can record scratch felt tip pens, gooses, people being punched in the face, all in a, in a sequence that's kind of a major bit of like a, you know, a, a sort of big Hollywood movie. And I think that's one of the things that's so exciting about Spider-Verse from a writing point of view is there's kind of no limits. You can sort of go anywhere you want. You've got a really great team who are always supportive of creativity and experimentation. And um, that's probably why I love this, this, this scene because they allowed me to record Scratch a Goose. I'm from your past. One year ago. Hold up. Oh, come on. Uh-oh. Well, this has been Who are you talking um, to? But I really gotta wrap this up. Are you up. gonna be a while? Because I can't... We have a just PMNL. Okay, let's do this one last time. My name is Miles Morales. I was bitten by a radioactive spider. And for the last year and four months, I've been Brooklyn's one and only Spider-Man. And things are going great. Hey, 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 hey. You can hurt somebody. Catching all sorts of bad guys. <laughs> oh, can't you just act like a regular supervillain so I can catch you? I designed my new suit with some fly ambiance down the side. Aunt May moved to Florida. Done. I guess host the Jeopardy. Endorsed baby powder. Apologize for endorsing baby powder. I made a mistake. My mustache came in. Mustache. And out. I made another mistake. I've been developing a new twist on my venom thing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. How much longer can I keep lying about who I really am? I hear that new Spider-Man is Puerto Rican. <laughs> nah, he, he seems more Dominican to me. I mean, would they get it if I told them? We love you and accept you even though you have been lying to us for a year. Maybe in some other universe. Sometimes I just wish I wasn't the only one. I don't dwell on it. I miss my uncle sometimes. Mom does see exactly what you're doing there. Even though he turned out to be the prowler. I'm gonna try to do what he told me. Just keep going. You're looking at your text? You understand this is the fight of our oh, lives, sorry, right? Sorry, just, okay. just a second, man. No, 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 go ahead, take the call. Turn off your phone in a one movie second. theater. You don't turn it off when you're fighting me? Oh, in a minute. Hey, I wrote it all as one word. That's cute, right? The youth. Okay, that's weird. Oh. There's bubbles now. Hold on. Whoa! Uh, I think it's going great. Still bubbles in here. You know, I think it's probably okay. I don't think I want this costume anymore. Almost there. Give me smile face. Is this your good? That's the end of the day. I got you right where I am. So aggressive. I'm Spider-Man. No one can take that away from me. Believe Come back to your nemesis. Don't escape. Your costume's too tight in the back, by the way.